Uh, since our project is getting bigger, let's organize our folders uh, files a little bit better. So I'm going to select the recent file that I created, F uh, Firebase co Collection Reference. I'm going to create a new group from selection. And this one I'm going to call helpers. And then let's uh, select our uh, category collection view controller. Right click again, new group from selection. And this is going to be my uh, main views. And finally, let's select our uh, category collection view cell. Right click, new group from selection. And this one I'm going to call uh, custom cells. Okay, so now we are a little bit better organized. Okay, um, let's create a class for our collect, uh, categories that uh, we will, which will allow us to save our categories into Firebase. So I'm going to select my scene uh, here, Command N, and I'm going to create a new Swift file. And this one I'm going to call category.swift. And this file is created as well. Let's right click, create new group from selection. I'm going to call this model. Okay, and let's move our model on top of our helpers here and jump to our uh, category.swift file. So I'm going to import UI kit here, and then we're going to create a class and my class is going to be called category and it's not going to be subclass of any other class. So in uh, every category, uh, this basically we are doing the blueprint of our category. So every category is going to have a ID, which is going to be a string. Then it's going to have a name, which is going to be a string as well and each category needs to have an image which is going to be a ui image and this is going to be an optional and then we're going to have a image name which is going to be a string and this is going to be an optional as well so every category is going to have these four variables now let's move on to our initializers. And the first one is going to have a name, which is a string and an image name, which is a string as well. And here we're going to set the ID to equals to empty string. And then the name is going to be close to our name here. Uh, image name is going to be equals our image name. And finally, the image is going to be equal to UI image. And then we're going to get a named. And here we're going to pass our image name. So in case if there is an image in our assets, we are going to create a, a UI image and assign it to our image there. And then we're going to create another initializer, but this time it's going to take a dictionary, which is going to be type of NS dictionary. And this uh, will be used when we are downloading our uh, categories from our Firebase, and it's going to be a JSON code, which is dictionary. And we'll pass this uh, to our initializer to create uh, from JSON to a category class. Again, here we're going to set our ID, which is going to be equals to, and then uh, what we're going to do is access our dictionary. And then we are going to get uh, the key and the key, I'm going to set a string. Our key is going to be object ID. And we're going to specify that this is going to be as string because the ID we're going to save 
is string here. Then I'm going to set the name is equals, again, we are going to set the dictionary. And we're going to get the key name. And we are specifying that this is a string as well. And finally, I'm going to create an image. So I will say uh, image is equals to UI image. And again, we are accessing the named. And the name here, we're going to get our, I'm missing the equal sign here. Uh, I'm going to get my name here of my image. So I can copy this, paste it here and say image name as my key. And since this is an optional, we're going to put it as a string. Otherwise, I'm going to put an empty string as default value here. So in case if we don't have an image name, because it's an optional value here, we are going to pass an empty string, which will in its turn return no UI image. So this image will be nil. So these are the two initializers that we need for this class.